v very easy. Lorenzo is a real, real person. What uh, you, I know you, you have studied about uh, your uh, Lorenzo. What idea about uh, real Lorenzo? What's inside of you? Well, I think, I, you know, I think his... Hopefully, you are picked as an actor because there's something that people see in you that sometimes you don't see yourself but that other people see it and they, they hold on to and they say, well, this, this represents something. Um, so for whatever reason, I don't know why, but the, the, these people said, this, there's something about me that, that gives something of what they want to say of Lorenzo. Then I come in and I learn about him and I try and understand it. And I've never had a character by which I understood so much of his actions. I wish I was like him. You know, I, I wish I was that thing. So it's a pleasure to come and work and do that because you're playing an idealized version of you. You know, if I really was more pragmatic, then maybe I would do the things that Lorenzo has done. But, you know, I understand his, his thought process because I, I, I think what he did and his championing of art is something I believe in very strongly. Oh, you know, I just joke with you about handsome. <laughs> you are so ready. Okay, you are very happy to change uh, this person. You, you say very famous about uh, Teen Wolf, etc. But now so you stay in different production. This is good for you, for, for an actor. Yeah, I don't think you ever get caught in any, you know, the second that you think you've achieved something or you've done something, I think you sh you've got to move on. You can't ever stay in one place. And I don't think it's an actor's job to be worried about um, what... Uh, what you look like or what you know you just you you're lucky enough to do service to the to to the art form it's just just to work and work and work and so hopefully you keep being vulnerable you keep being open you keep doing things and you keep exploring and you keep pushing the boundaries of what you can do and that's all you can really hope for and your, your work to to entering inside the role of Lorenzo uh, you, you come uh, in Tuscany for two weeks uh, completely alone. You know, <coughs> I do... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Please don't die. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Chombin. No, no, exactly. <laughs> um, I, I, I think, you know, I, 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 you know I, it sounds more uh, dramatic than it really is. Actually, it's just spending time by yourself. It's, it's a meditation. It's a way of, like clearing something I know I was playing a character it was very different before that I had to clear that and I wanted to be here and to feel it and you know I don't know if it like makes any difference I don't know if it like does anything particularly different to you but I, I think there's something important about clearing something out of you and, and sitting in something and then and then you can begin to work and then you can begin to kind of explore but so those weeks were necessary for me but you know, I wouldn't, I, you know, I don't think they were particularly profound. They're just what I was doing at the time, so. But did you have a physical preparation for it at all because of the fights of the beginning? Yeah, I mean, I have physical preparation for, for those things, except now, this next season, I have far more physical things because I start, I start to get very old and I start to, so that's, this season that I'm filming now is far more preparation in terms of the work and the, um, the, idea of playing something that's older than you and, and that, um, you know, the dexterity of his movement and you know, all of that stuff. So the, the, the last time it was less preparation, this time it's a lot more. This is classic as question. We are working with Sean Bean, the star of a Game of Thrones. Do you watch it? Do you like it? Yes, of course, you know. I've but Sean. work with Sean? It, you know, like Sean's a hero of mine. He has been since I was a kid. So I, I watched him when I was a very little kid and... Um, he's a hero, so working with anybody like that is, is kind of surreal because you never really believe you'll work with some, you know, people that you've seen as, uh, you know, as a kid. So it's, um, it's, you know, it's hard. It's hard to hate him when he's, you know, Sean Bean, you know, but uh, you kind of forget that and you get in there and, and suddenly uh, it becomes very different. But it's, the thing about Sean is he can play so beautifully, so... Um, I, you, you end up forgetting all of that and you just play and that's a, that's just that's why he's Sean B you know and the best things uh, you love in Italy 
Um, Lucia Dalla. Lucia Dalla. Sì. Yeah, sì. I know. No. If I start singing, you'll all die, and then I'll be like, um, no, 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 no. All the windows will break. It will be bad news. Um, no, I love Lucia Dalla. I listen to. Um, I've become very fascinated by Italian pop music. So, yeah. I think he's brilliant. The last question, but do you have realized that Lorenzo il Magnifico is the start of a modern era? Is it real? Is it history? He's is it true? He's a modern superhero. Like he, he, I, I, I'm staggered that this story has not been told over and over and over again because to me, every time I read it, every time I listen, I can't believe that he isn't you know, known across the world because it, his story is wonderful and I hope this, this series gets to tell that story. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you so much. You.